even back when I was the CEO of Zimbra and then we, we chose Kevin Harvey from Benchmark and Tim Haley from Redpoint to be our investors, uh, you know, to this day where I'm on the other side of the table, I think, you know, many times people think that price or network value or, I mean, if you get a good investor, obviously you have to have a good network and you have to understand company strategy and product strategy and be able to help the entrepreneur with all of those things. That's like the base level. I think beyond that, the thing that keeps the investor and the CEO glued on is chemistry because you're going to see some dark days in the company. You know, rarely does a company just shoot up. I mean, but, uh, and you're going to make, have to make some tough decisions. Even if there are no dark days, you're going to make some tough decisions where you're going to either accept or turn down lots of money that those are important decisions for all parties involved, for all the families involved. And to have someone that you trust and to have chemistry within them, knowing that they're on the other side as an intelligent person and they're not just purely mercenary, but are also un understand the strategy and are intelligent about their decisions and you can respect and challenge. I think that's the most important thing about the relationship between the investor and, and the CEO. I, I guess I'd add, I you know, re-emphasize that uh, best case, you know, you think you're shooting for the stars three, maybe four days a week, but you're crashing and burning, <laughs> you know, at least one, probably two days a week. So trust is really crucial, right? Um, and honesty, right? you have to be comfortable sharing, uh, you know, the, the way to use a board is not to, to sell to your board. You want to be uh, very open uh, with your board about, you know, what's going on in the business, um, I, I don't think you want to pose necessarily all the problems to the board, but you want to talk about the problems and then propose uh, solutions and help the board, you know, give them the insight that lets them help you uh, course correct. Like if you withhold information from the board, you're really letting the whole company down. Uh, and, and people will do that because they feel like they've got to sell to their board because the, you know, the board put in all this money. And, and the exact opposite is the most effective thing, right? Let, let the board in, let them see what's going on, and then, you know, they're in a position uh, to help. Yeah, that's a great point. I mean, you know, um, a lot of entrepreneurs miss this, which is, you know, the board and the entrepreneurs are all in, are all together and they want to look at the problems together and the risks together. And so, uh, like when Dietzen talks about what keeps him up at night when, you know, at Pure, you know, that basically helps us understand what, what we can do to help mitigate some of those issues or at least understand that. Um, so I think it's a great point that he makes that you don't try to sell your board after the investment. You do that before you raise money. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Then you then you tell them the then brutal, you tell brutal, them the brutal truth. Brutal, brutal truth. The first board meeting. Yeah. There, there was one other thing I, I you know that it occurred to me about you know honesty and and, and problems. Um, when I was a kid, uh, we used to we used to dirt bike, and one of the things they taught you is when you see an obstacle, you don't see the obstacle, see the path around over the obstacle. I think entrepreneurs can uh, you know, get stuck if they see all of the obstacles in front of them and you gotta focus on the path uh, through the obstacle and that's how you know, problems that inevitably come up don't seem quite so bad, right? Because you know, you're, you're immediately focusing, okay, there's a new obstacle in front of me but what, what am I gonna do about that? And, if, if you're willing to look at, you know, always be looking for the path around, then you can build this culture where you're, you're happy to embrace these challenges uh, and bring them up and, and share them with people as opposed to like ignore them or focus on them, right? Because both of those uh, strategies are not effective. And, and what I would say, great point, also always surround yourself with people that you can depend on and trust because many times I find entrepreneurs fighting a battle alone and that's really, really hard. Um, you know, I was really fortunate enough to have a great team around me at Zimbra, and so I leaned heavily on them. There was not a single problem that I can think of where I had to face the problem by myself. You know, you hunt with your team, don't hunt alone.